Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a very brand new series with a whole bunch of other crafty chicks and this month crafty chicks take on washi tape. So I've had this washi tape sitting in my stash for a couple months and I've never used it and it's really 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 pretty and super wide. So I decided to use this washi. Now this is going to be the only washi that I'm going to use in this whole layout. You're going to see a lot of different tips and tricks on how to use washi this month from all of the lovely ladies. I will have them listed below so you can check out their videos. Everybody will be posting different days throughout the month so you have inspiration um, all month long on this one product. So that is the idea for this new series. Um, Desiree is the one that came up with it and she asked a whole bunch of us ladies to join her and it's a great group of ladies so make sure that you head to everyone's channel and subscribe to their channels so you guys don't miss all of the fun ways you can use products that you have in your stash. So like I said this month is washi tape and I'm using this really really pretty wide washi tape. Now I got this at I want to say I got it at Joanne Craft Store. Um, I believe. Um, I will try to see if I can find something. I'll try to find a wide washi tape on scrapbook.com and have it linked below. But I know that I'm not going to be able to find this exact one because I believe that this was a Joanne um, brand. So if you have a Joanne near you, this might still be available. I got it, I think, in June. Um, so yeah, I made my own piece of pattern paper pretty much with it. So you can do that with smaller washi as well. Um, it's just a lot faster and a lot easier with the wide tape. So I will try to find one linked and link it below so you guys can um, try that out. Um, but I'm going to be using the Auburn Lane collection from Pink Paisley. I only have a couple pieces of paper. Um, I think I have two pieces of paper, 12 by 12 papers, which is this wood grain and then this pink that is the background. And I also have the six by eight paper pad and that's it from them, from this collection. I just got just a little bit of it at the scrapbook expo. They didn't have the ephemera at the expo or the stickers. So I didn't get my hands on that. However, you will see here in this layout that with such big layers that I'm using um, and the bold washi tape print that I used on that paper. I really don't need a whole lot of embellishing and it makes for a really nice, simple, beautiful layout, um, but you don't really have that much um, stuff from the collection. So if you can just find a washi tape, if you don't have a whole collection of something, if you find a washi tape that can sort of go with the colors because this one isn't perfect. It doesn't match perfectly, but I made it work. So the photos are of Thanksgiving. I think it was not last year, but the year before. Um, yeah, it wasn't last year. My grandmother passed away right before Thanksgiving last year. So this was the year before and her and my daughter loved to color together. We were at my grandmother's house um, and so I just took a snapshot snap shot of them coloring. And then I also have a photo of um, my husband and my grandma. I think this was right before we were about to eat, um, sitting on the couch together. They had a special relationship um, and they really got to know each other the last couple years of her life. And she shared a lot with him of her childhood. And I wanted to document these pictures because they're special to me. Um, and I'm glad that we had that time with her. Um, so enough with the mushiness <laughs> before I start getting all emotional here. Um, you can also use pieces if you have like a, the six by six or six by eight paper pad. Usually there's cut aparts in those and I did cut a cut apart one that says every moment matters and that's what's up at the very top. Um, and you can use those as embellishment pieces as well. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and start adhering everything down. I really, really like the way that this looks. I love the layers. I love the bold print of that washi. It really makes a very big statement. Um, and I think that's why I like it so much. It looks like a pattern paper. It really, I was worried that you were going to be able to see the lines in between where they don't, you know, they match. I put them right beside each other, but they don't completely match up. 
Um, so I was kind of worried about that, but I did use a lot of layers, so you can't really see that. Even in person, you can't really see it. So I am going to use some foam behind um, the Every Moment Matters to kind of make it pop up off the page just a little bit. And off camera, I am going to do more embellishing. Um, I actually realized that I had some wood grain stars that match perfectly with that wood grain paper, and I'm going to end up using those on there as well. And um, so at the very end, there will be close-up pictures, and you guys will see. Um, sorry, I had to go away because I was in search for these stickers. Now, these stickers are actually from this collection as well, and I will have them linked below. I know that scrapbook.com has them. That's where I got mine. And they have the rose gold that is in this collection, and then on the other side, they have gold. So I'm going to use the rose gold because they match with this collection. And I love how they're super tiny, but they are foam. Foam thickers are my favorite. So um, I'm spelling out my favorite. <laughs> so the title of my layout is going to be my favorite people because, um, to be honest, these three people in these pictures are some of my favorite people in the entire world. And... Um, when my daughter looked at this layout, she was like, well, isn't Pap-Pap your favorite? Um, which is my grandmother's husband, or my grandfather, this grandmother's husband. <laughs> um, and I was like, of course he's not one of my favorites. This just means that you guys are my some of my favorites. Um, but yeah, so that's the little story behind that. So I'm looking for a font to work as... Um, to use as the people. So I find these evilicious little tile words in my stash, which I love using things for my stash. It makes me super happy and they match perfectly with this collection, which just really makes me happy. And I'm just going to stick it right over top of the photos. So my favorite people. And then I'm going to pull out some stickers from the Crate Paper Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection as well to just bring in some more of that mustardy yellow because that mustardy yellow is the photo map behind the photos. So I wanted to bring um, that color in. And then again, I will do some um, wood grain stars. But I'm going to do that off camera because I don't realize it until I'm done filming. Um, so you guys will see that in the um, close-up photos at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to, make sure you head over and check out all of the other ladies and subscribe to their channels. Uh, don't forget to spread love and be kind. Have an amazing day. Bye.